For decades, Big Cable has forced you to rent a set-top box. It's a monopoly, it's against the law, and it's expensive. Families pay an average of $231 a year renting boxes. 84% of Americans say cable prices are too high. And that cable box is a gatekeeper, blocking you from watching new streaming content. This hurts new creative voices, including independent and minority programmers who have been shut out by big cable. The FCC can end this nightmare and give consumers more choice and freedom. President Obama supports unlocking the box because it will unleash a wave of innovation. But the big cable lobby will do and say anything to keep squeezing consumers out of $20 billion a year in box fees. They promised they would do away with the box way back in 2008, but it never happened. Now, Big Cable wants even more control over how you watch TV. They want to go from a monopoly box to a monopoly app. But the FCC should stand with consumers, not cable. We need solutions that are open, not closed, to bring real competition and innovation. First, consumers need an open user interface that enables new companies to build better platforms and gives consumers the power to control what they watch and how they watch it. Second, integrated search is the real future of TV. It saves money and allows consumers to shop around and discover new content at the best price. Without integrated search, Big Cable will continue playing favorites with the content it owns. Third, we need enforceability. Consumers must have more choice, not less. So the FCC must have oversight and enforceability to make sure Big Cable and Big Hollywood Studios don't block new competition or take away functions consumers love, like home recording. It's time for the FCC to unlock the box and help consumers. Let's make TV an innovation sandbox for new ideas, more competition, and lower prices. Tell the FCC and Congress to unlock the box and set competition free.